Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a different series called Unsolved Files. The simple fact is there are thousands of cases with little to no evidence. These cases are interesting, but if I made a video on it, it would be too short. So today I'm going to be covering five small unsolved murder cases. If you like this new series, please show your support in the comments below. With all of that being said, let's begin. Number 5. The Murder of Betty Van Patter at aged 45, Betty was a bookkeeper at the Black Panther Party, although she herself was white. Betty went missing on the 13th of December 1974. Weeks later, her body was found on a San Francisco beach. In the autopsy, it was discovered that Betty had been beaten to death and that there were indications that she had been raped. It is believed that the members of the Black Panther Party murdered Betty to prevent her from going public with the major tax problems in the group. Hugh Newton, which was a member of the same group, allegedly confessed to a friend that he had ordered Betty's death and that she had been tortured and raped before being murdered. 45 years have passed since Betty was murdered and her case still remains a mystery. Number 4. The Murder of Dolores Penner Dolores Penner was 17 years old when she was abducted in the year 1972. Shortly before midnight on the 11th of July, Dolores was abducted from her home in Philadelphia. Witnesses later stated to police that they had saw her been and dragged while unconscious. They also saw her being put into a car. Later on, Dolores' torso and arms were located in Jackson Township, New Jersey and her legs were found in Manchester Township, New Jersey. Her head was never recovered. Her fingertips had been severed from her hands to prevent identification. It is believed that Dolores was murdered by drug dealers who believed her boyfriend had stolen from them. 47 years later, this case still remains unsolved. Number three, the murder of Mary Sherman. On the 21st of July, 1964, Mary at aged 51 was found dead in her apartment. Her body had stab wounds and burns from a fire which was set in the apartment. But police have stated this death is a murder. After the autopsy, Dr. Samuels determined that Mary died from the result of a stab wound in her heart. Most of the right side of her upper torso, including her right arm, had been incinerated by the fire. It has been 55 years since Mary was discovered dead in her apartment, and as of this video, her case still remains unsolved. Number 2. The Murder of Miranda Fenner On the 15th of November, 1998, 18-year-old Miranda was working at a locally owned video rental store in Montana. Around 8.15pm, a motorist noticed a female crawling out of the video store. The female turned out to be Miranda and she had been stabbed multiple times in the neck and head. Her throat had also been slashed. Miranda was taken to the hospital via the life flight service and she died two hours later from the result of her injuries. Over 650 people were interviewed in relation to this case but no suspects have ever been named. Police were unable to find a motive, though it is known that a small amount of money had been stolen from the register. Because of this, robbery cannot be ruled out as a motive. Miranda's murder case was given to the Billings Police Department's Cold Case Unit in 2012, but as of this video, her case is still a mystery. Number 1. The Murder of Frank Newberry on the 12th of March 2007, Frank Newberry, also known as Old Frank by locals, was an 87-year-old man in Newcastle, Australia. While working at his store called Frank's and Ham Beef, he was brutally murdered. 
Frank's body was discovered next to the register which had been forced open. It appeared that the motive was robbery. The attack happened at approximately 4.15pm and someone may have been seen acting suspicious around the store before or just after the murder. A strike force was established to investigate the murder but all leads came to a dead end. A $100,000 reward is currently being offered by the New South Wales government to solve this murder. It has been 12 years since Frank was murdered and his case still remains unsolved. Please share your thoughts about these cases in the comments and consider subscribing so you are notified when a new video comes out. All links and sources are in the description below and hopefully in the near future these cases will get solved, but sadly as of this video, all five of these cases remain unsolved.